So tomorrow evening, we return to Premier League action with a tough game at home to Leicester City. In this video, I preview that match. Hello, my name is Richard. Welcome back to my channel over and over and over again, which features everything to do with Arsenal. Now, in this video, I just want to look ahead to tomorrow evening's big game in the Premier League um, against Leicester City. Um, just before that, I just want to make sure that you are all subscribing to my channel. If you like what I do, please click the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well, because it really does help it to grow. If you've got any comments at all about the game, uh, maybe what your predicted team lineup is, your predicted score, um, anything at all to do with Arsenal, just please drop them in the comments box below, because I do like to hear from you guys as well. So tomorrow then, back in the Premier League action with a very, very tough looking home game uh, against Leicester City. Of course, it's a big game for both clubs, isn't it? As we're battling for um, a top four finish at the end of the season. Uh, of course, Leicester are going to be one of those teams that we'll be competing with for one of those positions. So it's a really, really important game. Or even, even though it's still quite early in the season, you know, this result isn't necessarily going to be the be all and end all of that. But it's an important game for us as well, isn't it? Especially following our Premier League defeat away at Manchester City last week. Of course, um, Leicester come into the game on the back of a Premier League defeat as well. They lost at home to Aston Villa. Um, there has been quite a contrast, actually, in Leicester's home and away form. And they've won their two away games so far, scoring eight goals and conceding just two. And, of course, that included that really impressive 5-2 victory at Manchester City in their last away game, which is Pep Guardiola's biggest ever home defeat. So, really, really impressive performance that was. Um, so they'll be coming to the Emirates, certainly in good away form. Uh, they struggled at home, actually, haven't they? Um, they've lost their last two home games without even scoring a goal in, in the Premier League. But of course, they did win um, at the King Power on Thursday night in the Europa League, a 3-0 victory there. Um, so they will be coming in a confident mood, I'm sure. Um, in our favour, of course, is the fact that Leicester have got a very poor record away at Arsenal going back quite a number of years. In fact, they haven't won in their last 27 um, visits to Arsenal. Um, and that's going back all the way to September 1973. That was the last time they won an away game at Arsenal, a very long time. And in fact, that's the only victory that they've had in the last 34 meetings, which goes all the way back to 1966. So one victory since 1966 away at Arsenal. So um, that's a very, really poor record, certainly that Leicester City have when they travel to our particular part of North London. Um, but of course, records are always there to be broken, aren't they? And I say Leicester's away form this season certainly means that they certainly won't come without confidence. Uh, whereas, you know, we've been struggling at home, haven't we? I know we've won our two home games against West Ham and Sheffield United, but both of those performances were uh, below par. Uh, and although we just managed to, to get the victory in both of those games, it certainly wasn't easy. You know, on paper, Leicester certainly are a better team than both of them. Um, so it is going to be um, a very tough game. Now, in terms of um, recent history against Leicester, of course, um, last season's game, if you remember, it was um, in July at the Emirates, uh, finished in a 1-1 draw. That was the game, of course, where Eddie Nketiah came off the bench um, and then got himself sent off, didn't he? Very controversial decision that was. And we'd led in that game for a goal by Aubameyang. And it was after the sending off in the last 10 minutes that Leicester did equalise through Jamie Vardy. And of course, Jamie Vardy is a player with such a good goal scoring record against us. It's almost like he used to play for us. How many former players of ours have come back and scored against us? And big news is he might not be fit for tomorrow, which let's hope that's the case because we've certainly got a much better chance of winning that game um, if Vardy is not in the side. In terms of previous meetings that stick out in my mind, of course, there was that Famous game two years ago under Unai Emery, if you remember, the 3-1 victory, the Meza Ozil game, wasn't it, where um, Meza Ozil scored that great goal in the first half um, and then in the second half he helped create those two wonderful goals for Aubameyang, um, the second of which is, of course, been played, replayed over and over again. One of our one of the best goals we've ever scored, actually, a team goal. It's fantastic, wasn't it? And that, of course, sticks in the memory. Um, it's, it's odd, actually, how many times Leicester have, have led in games against us at, at home and we've come back to win. Of course, there was that one there, the 3-1 victory, which I mentioned there. Of course, the season before that, if you remember, it was the very first game of the season we played Leicester. Um, they, they led in that game 2-1 um, and also 3-2 before we came back to win 4-3. So um, they've certainly got a record of, of taking the lead and not holding on. Um, I mean, e even further back than that, the year that Leicester won the league. Um, in 2015-2016. They also led 1-0 with a penalty from Jamie Vardy before we came back in the second half to win the game. It was Theo Walcott and then Danny Welbeck's last gasp header 
won a stat one. Um, and of course, the very final game of the 2003 2004 Invincible season, where we needed to avoid defeat against Leicester um, to complete the unbeaten season. Of course, we did. Lo- we were losing 1 0 at half time in that game as well. And that was a former Arsenal player who scored, Paul Dickoff, if you remember. Um, but again, we came back to win 2 1. So the, the thing to bear in mind is if we do go behind tomorrow, is not to panic. History will certainly be on our side, on that side of things, for, for sure. Um, in terms of the, the team selection, um, there's going to be some changes from the Thursday night's game, I'm sure. I'm assuming Leno will start in goal, um, even though he did make, of course, a big mistake that led to the goal for Rapid Vienna the other night. But I'm expecting he'll still stay in goal just because there isn't really a lot of competition anymore for his position, is there? I think, again, we'll, we'll go with the back three. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if it's a very similar back three to that played um, in Vienna. So I think David Luiz, Gabriel, but I think Kieran Tierney will come in on the left of that three in place of Said Kalazanac. Um, in the in the midfield, I think Hector Bellerin will come back in on the right uh, the right wing back. The left wing back position could be quite interesting. I think Maitland Niles may well get the nod there. Actually, say Arteta has, has picked him in quite a lot of the the big important games in that position. But of course, the other option is. Bakayo Saka, who played there the other night. Um, and in the centre, I do expect Thomas Partey to, to start again. Thought he was fantastic, obviously, wasn't he, against Vienna, as we know. Um, I'll be surprised if he doesn't start this game as well. Um, and I think maybe alongside him will may well be Granit Xhaka, who, of course, was rested in Vienna, um, with Tobias still a doubt, with an injury. Um, in terms of the front three, I think there'll be changes there. I think Aubameyang will be back in on the left-hand side. Um, I think Willian will probably come in on the right-hand side. And maybe Eddie Nketiah might get a nod in, in the centre-four position ahead of Lacazette, who I thought looked, looked poor against Vienna, uh, possibly tired as well. So uh, maybe he might have a rest. But it's obviously between those two, really, isn't it, for the centre-four position. So that's the team I think we'll go with. Um, in terms of Leicester, of course, their, um, their main defender, Soyenshu, is out which is a big bonus for us, of course. Um, very good player he's, he's proved to be for Leicester. And I say there is that doubt about Jamie Vardy's fitness. So fingers crossed from our point of view, he doesn't make it because yeah, I say if, if he plays, he's inevitably going to score, um, which is going to make our job um, a lot more difficult. I just want to see us really go for this game a little bit more. You know, we've been very, um, very conservative in our approach to all the games so far this season. And the two home games, especially, we've really struggled to break to break them down. I mean, Leicester do play on the counter-attack away from home. It's it served them well this season. I say with two really big wins on their travels. And I'm sure they're going to come to this game with a similar approach. Um, so I do think we need to be a little bit bolder in this game. Try to... Um, you know, give them a few more things to think about. Certainly in the attacking sense, you know, yes, we need to be we need to be weary of, of them. Uh, say they're a very dangerous team, especially if Vardy is playing on the, account, on the counter-attack in particular. It's going to be difficult. Bearing in mind as well, away from home in their two away games, they've actually got five penalties they've been given. So um, they, do get, they do get forward at, at pace and they do cause defences problems. So we are going to have to be aware of that. But we're at home. It's our responsibility to take the game um, to the opposition. And I feel as though we haven't done that enough yet this season. So I want to see that happening tomorrow. I want to see us really go for it a little bit more, take a few more risks a bit earlier in the game rather than waiting until the final stages or until we go behind. You know, let's get let's start on the front foot. Let's give them something to think about and let's really put them under pressure um, and try and get the game won as early as we can rather than keeping the tension going, you know, all the way through the game, which has been the case for most of this season, actually, for us so far. Um, in terms of a score prediction, I do feel as though it's it's a massive game for both clubs, isn't it? Neither have been in great form in the Premier League in recent weeks, have they? We lost to Man City. I say they lost to Aston Villa last time out. So it's going to be a very difficult game um, for us to win. I think we're going to have to be a lot more a lot more positive in our approach um, if we are going to win this game. Um, but it's going to be tough. Um, I, I'm going to I'm going to be positive. I say this is a positive channel, so. I am going to be positive and what I'm, I'm going to predict a 2-1 victory, but I don't think it's going to be very easy at all. I think we're going to have to have to play well and I certainly wouldn't be surprised if it finishes in a draw. I think um, Leicester's poor record away at Arsenal, uh, of course, they've never actually won at the Emirates at all. So um, I'm sure that will go in our favour. Plus, of course, we did beat Leicester, didn't we, 2-0 at the King Power in the Carabao Cup earlier in the season, although that was a very much changed Leicester side. Um, and I'm expecting a much tougher game. So that's that there then. Please um, let me know what your predicted lineup would be or what lineup you personally would select. That could be more interesting. Um, and also as well, what your score prediction is. I say it's going to be a tough game. We know that. 
Uh, we're going to have to play well. Uh, let's hope we turn up on the day and really put in a performance because if we can win this game, um, that's a great three points, isn't it, against a team that we are going to be fighting for that one of those top four positions, which, you know, there's a few teams fighting from as well, isn't it? And we've already lost to two of them this season and we can't really afford to lose to a third this early on. So I think it is a big game from that point of view. Um, so with that in mind, you know, it's possible Arteta will be quite cautious with um, his tactics in this game. Bearing in mind, like I said before, Leicester's fantastic away record this season. Um, how dangerous they've been on a counter attack. So, and we'll see. But I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be confident. I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to say that we'll win two one. But it's a very important game, and uh, it's probably going to be a very tense um, ninety minutes tomorrow evening, isn't it? Of course, um, it is a pay per view game. Our first game on pay per view. I know most fans are boycotting that. Um, I'm also boycotting it as well. Uh, I'll be donating the money to the charity that's that's already been announced. I'm going to do that instead. Uh, and I'm sure we can find other ways possibly to to watch the game. Um, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing. And please give this video the thumbs up as well if you like it. Um, and hopefully I'll say we can be in for a, a good game tomorrow night. Um, I've got some good stuff coming up on the channel this week. Of course, it's more Europa League action on Thursday. Our first home game in the tournament this season um, against the Irish side Dundalk. So that's going to be interesting as well. I'll be putting a preview up on that. Uh, of course, on Monday, I'll also do a, a full re review of the Leicester game in a bit more detail and also my Premier League weekend roundup as well uh, of all the other Premier League games which there's some big games this week as well elsewhere isn't there so but we'll catch up with all that on Monday as well so stay tuned to the channel thanks for watching thanks for your support and in the meantime of course as always come on you gunners